What's up, guys? Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about the uh, trading ranges. Why I love them and why you really want to know how to trade them. This is, in my opinion, the best uh, setup in price action. And there is a good reason I stick to them and I avoid all the photic trades during the day. I don't like the risk reward. And uh, with range, with the uh, trading ranges, however, uh, the risk reward is there. And I go for at least one to two, and I can't find it anyway inside the tiny channels. So today was basically a really strong uptrend. However, there were few ranges which gave beautiful trading opportunities. Let's go over the trades. So right from the get-go, it was clear that there is a clear channel here. And there was actually a second entry long here. And it's a good setup. Clear two legs. As you can see, first entry, second entry, good signal bar. I didn't take it, I was not in front of my machine. But as you can see, there is a nice, nice potential for a good risk reward here. Yeah. Uh, again, you are betting on it to break the high. Um, it's not a bad trade. It's not a bad one. I didn't take it anyway. So as soon as I had this channel, this is the first break of the channel and you're expecting a new high. Now, in many cases, what will happen is that Prices will break out of the channel and will start to trade inside the range. And these, in my opinion, are the best opportunities. Because most of the traders, or the traders really get confused here. But I want you to notice something. Can you see this range? Prices like oscillating between these two bands. And all we are waiting for is the prices to break to the lower side and you are going to fade this breakout. So once you have this leg, you can use the measure move. In many cases in trading range, measure move works like magic. Measure move, breakout, clear two-legged pullback. Beautiful bullish signal bar. I went long here for six points. That was the trade, the first trade today. Nope, sorry, I think, yeah, 10 points. Sorry, sorry. And then we were just, no, guys, don't, don't trade this it's a noise it's just you will be chopped to pieces you don't want to be there so if you see prices like well going nowhere just just avoid it go have a coffee because this will really chop you to pieces and then you had this downtrend i didn't take this trade again i was out for lunch but it's a beautiful setup as you can see downtrend break new low First entry, second entry. Let me increase the size here. So you have this downtrend, break. We know that first time prices breaks the channel, they will make a new low. First entry, second entry. Signal bar was not so good here, kind of neutral. However, the other one, the, the second bar, the last bar, was a great engulfing bar, so you can sneak up with a limit order, and it will be good for one to two for sure. I was not in front of the machine, but if I would, I would take it without any question. Which takes me to my second trend. Trade, sorry. Again, uptrend, break. We are expecting a new high. And again, as I explained before, prices tends to move in range before the break to new high. Usually when prices are inside the channel and they break the channel, they either immediately go to new high or they will oscillate in a trending range 
in a, tra in a training range. Now, <clears throat> the best opportunity for you is the prices to go into ranges because you will almost always have enough room to go for one to two. See what happens here. Uptrend, break, expecting a new high, then prices starts to oscillate and you have a clear two-legged pullback breaking out from this trading range and you are fading this trading rate, taking advantage of all the advantage of all these traders who doesn't know a shit. Because most of the traders who sees this breakout, they will go short here. That's a huge mistake. They are completely ignoring that we are in a very strong uptrend. And now you have a two-legged pullback, first entry, second entry. And again, the signal bar was horrible. However, the last bar was an engulfing one. So I sneaked here with a limit order for six points. Take a good look at these patterns, guys, because in my opinion, they are the best in price action. I usually don't take any pattern inside the tiny, the tiny channel. The risk reward is not enough for me. I don't go for the typical four ticks, I don't care. And if you take it from here, let's say you are here now. If you go to one to two, risky world. You see, your target is way below the high. So it's, it's very possible that you will get your one to two. If you take trade like this inside the channel, Okay, and let's say you want to go for one to two. You are betting on the prices making a new high. And in my opinion, that's not, not really a good uh, strategy. So that's what we had today. Really strong uptrend, but with tons of ranges. If you know how to take advantage of these ranges, that's a beautiful thing. Order, order, order filled.